Hi, my name is Claire. I'm an intern out here at Camp Cross for the summer of 2020 and I'm really excited to be bringing you weekly craft videos every Thursday that you guys can do during quarantine. So hope you enjoy our first one, Origami Porcupines. All right, let's make some origami porcupines. So you're gonna take a square piece of paper and then you're gonna fold from the bottom and match the edge up right to the top. Make sure to crease it really good so that we have strong folds and it's easier later. On. Now I'm just flipping the paper over and doing the same fold backwards to get a better crease. Now rotating the paper, you're now going to take the bottom up to the top again, this time to create a little separate fold line. And then again, just flipping it over, doing a good crease thing. Now we're going to turn it so the bottom point's facing towards you and bring up and match it to the top point. Crease that. There you go. Nice, nice. Again, rotating it one more time. We're gonna bring that bottom point up to the top there. There we go. And just crease that and then we're all done with this part. All right. Once I'm done with that crease, we're going to make a diamond shape, okay? From this giant square that we got going on. We're gonna make a diamond shape, all right? So that that middle bit is gonna be the top point. So we're gonna fold the squares on the side inwards, make a little accordion type guy. Now, they should all just kind of fit together because of the folds that we did. So, yeah, just kind of squish it down. There you go, you have your little fold, that's fun. Now, you're going to take the top flap from the bottom corner and bring it up to match with the top. And then flip her on over and do the same thing on the other side. Now, like a book, you're going to bring this top flap of that one over to the other side. There you go. Flipping over and do it again. Like a book over to the other side. Now bring in the bottom point up to match with the top again. Make sure to crease that really good. Flipping it over, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and bring the bottom up to the top. Now you gotta find a little triangle and we're gonna turn it sideways. All right, so you got the triangle facing sideways and then you're gonna take the top flap from the center point and bring it over so that the corner overlaps over the edge. Next, you're gonna bring the bottom part up to the top and then fold the little triangle that was over the edge on the crease and then kind of just press it down and it should, it should work. Now you got a foot, yeah. Flipping it over to the other side, we're gonna take the um, top fold to bring it down to the bottom. And now we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're just gonna take uh, that guy over there, right overlapping, and then bringing it right on up and just kind of smushing it into place. There we go. Now we have two little porcupine feet. There's he, He's, he can walk now. That's exciting. Now taking the side that's gonna be the head, which is gonna be over on the right side. We're going to pull that up and make it overlap just a little bit and then fold it so it kind of looks like a quill. Yeah, that's cute. Make sure to crease it. And then flipping him over, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but making the quill a little bit in front of the one we made before, making it closer to the head. Now this next part, it's a little bit finicky. Um, 
So we're going to start by folding this first quill that we just made right back up like that. And then we're going to take the open part on the top here and we're going to fold it over to kind of try to create a quill. Fold it basically to overlap, push it down and then move, replace the quill where it was previously and kind of just smoosh it down. That's kind of what I did. Now that you got your two quills on this side, we're gonna flip them over and do the same thing on the other side. But now this quill, it can be a little bit uh, closer to the middle, so it's not gonna be as hard. So it just kind of like fold them over. I'm kind of messing with them a little bit in the video, but uh, you'll get there eventually. There we go. Now we have four quills on the porcupine, yay! All right. We're almost done. Now, we're going to move on to the tail. So, kind of like folding the point straight down along kind of a little imaginary line that I made there. Like that. And we're going to do it on both sides to get a pretty good crease on him. All right, now Opening the guy from the bottom, we're going to push in the triangle and then so you can see that we have the little triangle pushed in right there. And then we're going to take the point and move it out to make a little upwards tail. Like so. There we go, we got him a tail. Now, lastly, we're gonna do the face. So taking him, you're gonna kinda open flat the face and you could just fold a little bit of the triangle up and then fold him back and you got a little nose. Oh, he's so cute. Now the best part, which is um, decorating him. So you'll see here in a second, there he goes walking away. Now you gotta get a face, little dude, come on back. So we're going to use a marker. I just drew on um, an eyes, mouth, and a little nose, and some little quills. And there, you're basically all done with your little porcupine. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and making little coupines. Um, make sure to follow Camp Cross on Facebook and Instagram, as well as uh, check back here on our YouTube channel to find new crafting videos every Thursday uh, this summer while we're going to be out there. So, 